Such cars are preferred by family people. After all, Kia seat is not very big, but not small either, an average one. In addition, practical, roomy and inexpensive, but most importantly, reliable. The second generation Kia seat turned out to be an extremely trouble-free car, despite its stylish and, if you like, sophisticated appearance. Partly due to the fact that its technical stuffing is not so progressive in design. Although you can't call him a simpleton either. SID's engines are gasoline four-cylinder with multi-point injection with a volume of 1.4 liters, 100 horsepower, and 1.6 liters, 130 horsepower, as well as a 1.6 liter diesel with 136 horsepower. Power. Paired with them are six-speed manual and automatic transmissions. Both gasoline engines are quite durable. True, on a 1.4 liter already at 60 to 90,000 kilometer, the converter may fail. This moment is important not to miss. The fact is that if you continue to drive with a worn out catalyst, then the engine can be destroyed. Porcelain honeycombs of the neutralizer are destroyed over time, and their super heart remains are sucked back into the bowels of the motor, destroying the cylinder piston group. If the sore is recognized in time, then you can get off with a little blood, by replacing or simply removing the neutralizer. A more powerful 1.6 liter engine suffers from this ailment to a lesser extent. But he often turns the liners. Koreans attribute this to the use of not the highest quality oil, although design miscalculations are not excluded. But otherwise, there are practically no problems with power units. In the timing mechanism, they use a strong chain that nurses up to 200,000 km or more. Both engines are designed for 90-second gasoline, although the 95th seed rides better, and more economically. Keep an eye on the oil level and change at every 10,000 km, especially if you operate the car mainly in the metropolis. At risk car crankshaft and camshaft oil seals, spark plugs and ignition coils that are sensitive to fuel quality. Boxes are also reliable. Although the MCP had one birth defect, corrosion of the input shaft, which was changed along with the oil seal. If these parts were not touched on cars manufactured before August 2014, then the second owner will have to spend a couple of hundred dollars on a replacement. At the same time, you can install a repair kit for the backstage of a gear shift lever. The machine won't be a problem either. The key to its longevity is an oil change every 60 to 80,000 km, preferably with a filter. The operation is expensive, because you have to remove or hang out the box. The suspension has weak wheel bearings, which can howl already at 30,000 km. But the bearings of the racks withstand twice as much. Stabilizer struts hold up to 70,000 km. In general, a used seat is a good option. It is better to take a post-styling copy when the main defects have already been overcome. In an automatic transmission. It is recommended to change the oil on average every 70,000 km. And it is better to do this together with the replacement of the filter, which is located in the pan of the machine. Also keep an eye on the condition of the CV joint anthers. If their rubber boots are worn and frayed, replace them immediately. Otherwise, you will have to spend money on the grenades themselves, which are much more expensive. Monitor the condition of the catalytic converter. If it starts to break down, it can destroy the motor itself. For more than 5 years, in Ukrainian conditions, a radiator rarely lasts, its upper tank is destroyed from salt and chemicals. At the same time, the engine starts to drive oil. The fact is that, as such, there are no seals and gaskets in the motor, all attachments are planted on the sealant, and it dries out. The weak point of the chassis is the rear springs and shock absorbers. Due to their initially incorrect settings, after 120 km h, the car begins to behave inappropriately. The problem is solved by installing non-original springs with shock absorbers of any well-known brand. They say it helps. With age, wheel bolts and studs quickly corrode. Masters advise to lubricate all threaded connections. SID's paintwork is frail, and the metal itself is not strong enough and resistant to corrosion. Moreover, it can acquire chips anywhere, from thresholds and wheel arches to the roof and pillars of the body. Most of all goes to the roof, because it is not initially protected from rust. On some specimens, after the first winter, the paint in the area of backslash U200B backslash U200 windshield and roof swells with bubbles. Failures happen here. Sometimes the power windows and the multimedia system are buggy, the central locking and climate control begin to live their lives. Fortunately, these problems on the SID are not widespread. It is worse when, due to chemistry and salt, the engine compartment electrician begins to mope. Repairs won't be cheap. 